explanation of what exactly Software Sunday is going to be because this is the first installment and I'm actually making the uh, introduction animation right here in the background. So if you hear my GTX 750s TI screaming in the background, it's because Blender is absolutely murdering it right now. But as you all know, especially if you're one of my subscribers, I work on a lot of old computer hardware. And to do so, I use a lot of neat software. And I thought, hey, you know what? It'd be cool to show some of the software to everyone. Um, I did this with Plop. I should have really started the series with Plop because Plop is really cool. And if, you if you haven't seen Plop, check it out. Link will be in the description. So every Sunday that I can, we're going to go through this box of DVDs and check out the software I have in here because I have a lot of neat stuff in here. Don't want to spoil it, so I'm not going to show you guys. Obviously, I'm not going to do it every single Sunday because that's just way too much work. I have school. I have other things to do. Um, but I'll try to do it at least once a month. So today, we're going to be taking a look at D-Band, Derek's boot and nuke bootable, uh, basically hard drive data destroyer. Let's say you have a laptop here, a laptop there, and a desktop in the attic, and you haven't sold them yet because they still have all of your personal information on them. Now you could take the hard drive out and just plug it into your Windows PC and format the disk, but that does not get rid of all of your data. I could go into software like Recuvera and take all the files that you tried to delete off of your hard drive, uh, very easy to recover. Um, plus, most people don't even know how to take the hard drive out of their PC, so that's another issue. With D-Band, you don't have to remove the hard drive from your PCs, and it completely destroys all of your data on the hard drive, depending on which option you pick from the bootable disk. Now, today I'm going to show you where to get D-Band, how to use it, and what exactly you can use it for. And of course, my computer microphone's even closer to my actual system, so you're probably going to be hearing the death cries of my GTX 750 Ti right now because I am still rendering that animation right here. So, where the heck can you get D-Band and how much will it cost you? Well, the great thing about D-Band is it is absolutely free. So, go ahead, open up your browser, just go into Google, type in D-B-A-N, which stands for Derek's Boot and Nuke. The first thing that should pop up is the actual D-Band website, which is www.dband.org. Click on that link. And the website is a bit slow, I hate to say, but that's really not a big deal. I mean, it is free software. You can live with it. Just have some patience. And I did navigate to the website before and it took almost a minute to load up, but this time it was a bit quicker. And of course, the D-Band website is taking giant bowel movements all over the place. None of these download links appear to work. I had to search through the website and actually find some that are functional. Um, because when I first downloaded D-Band, it was really easy. This big red download link up here actually led to the download. But it no longer does, so you have to go all the way to the bottom left, click on the download link down here. Wait a really long time. Their servers are incredibly slow. And it's getting to the point where I might just host the file on my web server because this is absolutely ridiculous. I don't want to put any of you guys through this. There we go. And... Here it is, D-Band. This is the home use version, and of course it is free. Um, and you would think this red download link right here would lead you to the download, but it does not. You can click on it all you want, nothing happens. So scroll down further, go to the previous releases, and click on D-Band 2.3.0. It's going to take you to SourceForge, and here it will actually allow you to download the image. And you can see that the ISO file is going to my downloads folder. And once you have the file downloaded, this is a live piece of software. So you're going to have to burn it to a CD or a DVD using an image burning software. Uh, most of you probably know how to do this, but if you don't, there are plenty of videos on YouTube on how to actually burn an ISO file to a DVD to make it bootable. And of course, you're going to have to change your settings in the BIOS to actually boot from that DVD or live, uh, live CD or DVD. And of course, this will work with both 32-bit and 64-bit PCs. Uh, let's go ahead and head over to my laptop and we can check out what it can do and how to use it. 
Now with the free version of DBAN, they do not guarantee that your data will be destroyed. 99.9% .9 of the time it will, but there's always those really, really small instances where something will slip through and still be intact. Um, so if you're doing this for like enterprise or something like that, um, might not be the best option to go with the free version. You might want to go with the paid version because I do believe the paid version has a guarantee behind it. Um, but if you're just using this for home use, the, the free version is absolutely fine. And the thing I love most about DBAN is the fact that it's pretty much a live operating system, meaning that you don't have to go into whatever's installed on your hard drive, whether it be a really corrupt version of Windows, Mac OS, or Linux to uh, delete everything. You can just put this DVD in, boot up into the DBAN interface, and nuke everything starting fresh. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And at this point, you can go ahead and stick DBAN into your CD or DVD ROM drive, depending on whatever you burned it to, and you can power up your computer. Now, I'm assuming at this point, you already switched your boot device to the CD ROM drive. And after you've done that, it should go right into the DBAN interface. And as you can see, we are in right now, Derek's boot and nuke. And you can see all of the, uh, the warnings right here and the fact that they're not liable, if something doesn't get erased. And... For most people, when you get to this point, you can go ahead and just type in the command right here, auto nuke, so it's A-U-T-O-N-U-K-E, hit enter, and it will wipe the drive on your system. Um, but as you can see, you can start DBAN in interactive mode, it'll give you a couple more options, um, and you can read everything else if you're really interested, but I'm going to start in interactive mode to check out set of options I was talking about just a minute ago, so just going to go ahead and hit enter. I don't actually want to erase the hard drive on this particular computer, so I'm trying to be careful not to. And my camera battery just died, so I had to pop in the new one, but we are back and in the interactive mode. So in interactive mode, to find all of the different methods for wiping the drive, go ahead and hit M on your keyboard. And as you can see, it will give you a couple different methods. We have quick erase, uh, RCMP, the Department of Defense methods right here. Uh, is that Gutman Wipe, I believe that's pronounced, in PRNG Stream. Um, and you can see it gives you a brief description of what each of these actually does. So uh, depending on how you want to actually erase your data, you can select the right option. Um, I'm just going to go with the Quick Erase um, option. As I said, I'm not actually going to run it, but if you want to select it, you just hit Space. You hit Space to select the drive you actually want to wipe. And then to start, you just hit F. 10, which I am not going to do. And that's really all there is to it. Don't let the command line and the really simple GUI fool you. It is a really easy piece of software to use. Now, let's have a quick little review. If you just want to uh, boot your computer up and nuke the drive, you can go into DBAN. Uh, right when it boots into the interface, you can just type in auto nuke and it will do everything for you. If you want a couple more options, you can go into interact interactive mode, excuse me, press M and select the option that you want, select the drive that you want, and then wipe said drive. So if I have a healthy drive and for some reason it just won't let me format it, it's saying that the drive's corrupt and unreadable, I can go into DBAN, auto nuke the thing, go back into Windows and it will format just fine. So DBAN is my go-to piece of software when nothing else works. So that's gonna be about it for this installment of Software Sunday. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. Once again, this is the first episode, so any critique you could give me to make the next episode better, I would really appreciate it if you just leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video, and of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next installment of Software Sunday.